Well, here comes old Charlie Brown. Good old Charlie Brown. Yes, sir. Good old Charlie Brown. How I hate him. Little girls are made of sugar, spice and everything nice. That's what little girls are made of. Rain, 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 rain. Rain, 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 rain. Let's leave. I don't think any are coming. Will you still love me when you're grown up and are rich and famous, and I'm just a poor little girl? Sure. I will and will you still love me if you get rich and famous, and I don't have anything? That will be different. <coughs> One million, two million, three million, four million, five million, six million, seven million, eight million, nine million, ten million. Ten million, eh? That's pretty good. Must be an all-time record. Don't get too close. He's a mean one. Notice the fierce gleam. He comes from a long line of killers. Shish. He's asleep. Nice try. Hopscotch? Sore toe. What's wrong with Charlie Brown? He looks so sad. It's a good thing I'm sympathetic. Don't be sad, Charlie Brown. Mm -hmm. Hey, wake up. Mm -hmm. One, please. Yes, sir. This is a real game of skill. Ha! Luck, luck, luck. It's all a matter of luck. So you see, it's the heat from the sun that keeps us warm. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? Mittens. So then I said to him, and you should have seen the look on his face. Well, the next day? Wait a minute. I'll have to call you later when I can talk more freely. Is Patty home? No, I'm her Aunt Agnes. Oh, well, I'll go visit that pretty little girl in the next block. Hmm? Wait, I'm home. I could have fooled you if I weren't so jealous. So you see, this proves that our Earth is round like a ball. Like a baseball. Sure, like a baseball. Like a basketball? Sure, just like a basketball. I don't believe it. Why? No stitches. Come on, give me a bite. Fooey, what kind of ice cream is that? I didn't say it was ice cream. It's mashed potato. Happy birthday, Charlie Brown. Well, don't I get to blow out any candles? We didn't know how old you are, so we left them off. Where's the cake? We weren't even sure it was your birthday, so we didn't bring one. Are you stronger than Charlie Brown? Sure. Are you older than Charlie Brown? Of course. Are you smarter than Charlie Brown? I should hope so. Then why don't I like you more than Charlie Brown? How do you like it? It's brand new. The salesman said it would impress girls. Oh, he was wrong. That dirty salesman. Read the bottom line. Please. Mm. I can't make it out. Try the other two lines. Only four years old and I already need glasses. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. You don't seem to realize that I'm boss in this house. What I say goes, see... Charlie. Charlie Brown. Excuse me. I think that's my mother. Charlie Brown. Don't you know how annoying that is? I guess maybe you're right. The future frightens me. I don't see why. You're young and full of life. You'll probably live for another 60 years. That's what frightens me. I'm trying to teach Snoopy to sit up. I'll give him a demonstration. All right. What's so funny? He's in hysterics. What do I care if you go to the show with Charlie Brown? Go ahead. That doesn't bother me. Now look what you've done. You've hurt Charlie Brown's feelings. He thought he was giving you some good competition. Well, Charlie Brown, come on in. This is a surprise. Just hang up your coat anywhere and come into the, the living room. How have you been? Yep, well, that's the way it goes. Do you mean to tell me you're sad just because you weren't born as a boy? That's nothing to feel bad about, Patty. It could have been much worse. You might have been born a dog. And then I grabbed a forward pass and ran 90 yards for a touchdown. Or at least I might have, but they wouldn't let me in the game. Mm -hmm. C-A-T spells cat. Uh, A-T spells rat. Well, I'll be. That's amazing. Yes, sir, that's really amazing. It clears up a lot of things I've been worrying about lately. Let's take turns pulling each other back up. Okay. I think I hear my mother calling. I'll have you know I'm plenty humble. You are not. Ow! 
Nobody can tell me I'm not humble. Oh, boy. School again today. Mm. Happy carefree school days. Go to school! Poor Charlie Brown. He's lost his mind. Yes, sir. Abraham Lincoln was a great man. Would you like to have been Abraham Lincoln? I doubt it. I have a hard enough time being just plain Charlie Brown. My joints squeak when I walk. That's not your joints. That's your shoes. What a relief. I thought I was getting old. So long, old pal. I'm going to miss you. But don't be sad. Try to keep your chin up. It won't be for long. In fact, I'll see you in the morning. You can hear a candy wrapper a mile off. Can't you make him hold still? Hurry up and snap it. Hurry! Hold still. Don't you love me anymore, Patty? How's your comic book collection coming? I brought four more yesterday. I love you madly. What skill? What ability? What finesse? What fool luck? Here, Charlie Brown, have a sandwich. Did you make these sandwiches yourself? Sure. They're fine. You're a good cook. Always look before you leap. He who hesitates is lost. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Out of sight. Out of mind. Happy birthday, Patty. Well, thank you. Don't I get a receipt? Trapped. You're the most inconsiderate person I've ever known. Your mother is a girl. Your grandmother is a girl. Your wife will be a girl. And all your daughters will be girls, too. So, there. Wow, Patty. Go away, Charlie Brown. I'm not home. Well, thanks for telling me. I'm glad I found out before coming clear over here. Your dog? You cur? Oh, your dog. Mm. A penny's worth of this and a penny's worth of that. A penny's worth of this and... No, wait. On second thought, I'll take a comic book. That's a good question, Charlie Brown. Yes, sir. A very good question. Why don't you ask me again six weeks from now? I'll be older and wiser then. Mm. Mm. All right, let's break it up and go to bed. Girls fascinate me. All girls? No, not all girls. Just the ones in our generation. Your eyes, your hair, your lips, your new tricycle with the big red wheels. Well, Charlie Brown, come on in. Gee, it's good to see you. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a mud pie. Hello, Shermy. Hello, Charlie Brown. Looks like it may get a little colder. Yes, it looks that way. Well, don't take any wooden nickels. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Now, there was a real adult conversation. Let's you and me grip. Ow! 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 Let's you and me grip. Mm. Off. Off. Rough. 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 Arf. Charlie Brown, see what time it is, please. Mm. Ten minutes to three. All right, thank you. You can't possibly realize how annoying that is. Let's have a picnic. I'll bring the cake. I'll being the ice cream. What will you bring, Charlie Brown? Me. In the old days, it was different. People used to go through the woods to grandmother's house, but not anymore. My grandmother lives in the apartment right above us. Let's roast corn. Let's roast winers. Let's roast marshmallows. The fire's going out. I can't marry you, Shermie. Why not? I haven't known you long enough. Well, what do you expect? I've only been alive for a few years. Boy, it ain't a fit night for man or beast. Bar. See? Patty. 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 Oh, pardon me. I thought you were alone. Gee, it's lonesome around here. <sighs> Hello, operator. Will you tell me a story? 